fishy folks and welcome back to another video here at Michael's Fish Room. Today, adding more guppies to our 150 gallon massive mutt guppy tub outside. That's right folks, summer tubbing. Grab yourself a healthy snack and a cold beverage because it's hot as balls outside. Stand by. Alright fishy folks, first I'd like to say uh, check out my really cool limited edition aquarium co-op tie-dye t-shirt. From what I've been told by Corey himself, there is limited quantities. Run over to aquariumcoop.com and get yourself one of these limited edition t-shirts. Uh, I really like it. Anywho, guppy ponds. One of my favorite parts of the hobby, summer tubbing. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. As you know, I have already started one summer tub outside. It is a 100-gallon Rubbermaid stock tank. Um, I'll put a link to the video up here for you guys of when I added USA Bread um, Red Dragon Guppies. And I had fry within, I would say, 24 to 48 hours. No, that's a lie. I had fry within a week. Uh, I saw Fry, and they're just, they're doing fantastic. Um, but I have a 150-gallon tub that I'm going to do mutt guppies in, and I've chosen some swell specimens. I got some actual mutt guppies and uh, a bunch of pure strains. And I got some big females, some little females, and so it's, uh, it is the middle of June. It's June 17th. Actually, we're on the tail, going to the tail end of June. Um, and they should have a good three months out there. I would say the middle of September I'll be pulling the, the guppies back in. So in three months, I hope to get uh, between three and four drops out of the, the fully pregnant females. Uh, and the young females I hope to get at least one out of. So there's a bunch of different males. Uh, if you want to send me guppies for the project, you are more than welcome. Just uh, email me at michaelsfishroom.com and uh, I'll send you my address and, uh, you know, we can talk about what you want to send me. So, I'm not offering any, you know, coupons for the website or anything, but if you want to send them for the project, I'll be more than happy to take them. Alright, without further ado, let's head on outside, where as I said, it's hot as balls, and uh, take a look at what's going on. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, here's the 100 gallon with the um, red dragons. These were USA bred red dragons before I put them in. And then of course all the babies will be USA. New Jersey bred. You can see my water hyacinth that I got from Keith at KGE Aquatics uh, has flowered. I did a, a short a couple days ago about it. I'm pretty excited. There's quite a few frying here. Uh, in fact, they're growing really fast. Pretty excited. And the water hyacinths I got have multiplied. Um, they make babies, basically. So I would say within another week or two, not week or two, two to four weeks, this will be completely covered with water hyacinth. Um, I got some plants in this. This is the 100 gallon. Um, again, there's no filtration in here, just an air stone, um, just natural filtration from lots of water, a low bio load, and of course the plants. Um, this is 150 gallon. I will be filling this up more uh, as the season goes on. Same thing with this. I do have heaters in there. Um, there was a question on social media about uh, do people shut their heaters off in the summer? And I'm like, it, it, it's a heater. It has a thermostat. Why would you shut it off? Like, it shouldn't go on, but whatever. Um, today it's supposed to be 95 degrees and humid here in South Jersey. But tomorrow it's supposed to be in the low 70s with 50s overnight. I have a heater. They probably don't need it at this point, but I just have a heater in each because I happen to have heaters and I have power, so we're good. All right, folks, let me show you the best way to acclimatize your guppies for your ponds. We have them here, and what we're going to want to do is slowly dump them in. Oh, there's a snail. We don't want that snail in there. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Guppies are way more hardy, especially healthy guppies, are way more hardy than people give them credit for. 
If you buy guppies from a big box store or a local pet store, or even if you have them shipped, and they die as soon as they hit your water, they weren't healthy to begin with, unless your water is all jacked up, which we're going to assume this water is fine. All right, folks, that does it. Uh, we'll come back in a couple weeks, maybe, and do an update now. We'll be doing updates probably every two weeks or so here at Michael's Fish Room. Guys, don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com. You can buy your father or father figure or yourself a gift card or just buy lots of guppies. Um, I did did add some fish to the website yesterday. I added Veiltail Angelfish. All 10 I have in stock sold immediately. Uh, but there are some Tetras now on there. There will be some more angels this weekend if I have time to upload uh, to the website. So, guys, let me know if you have any questions about summer tubbing or the website or, uh, you know, that's that. Have a great day, everyone.